The chief detective in the sexual assault investigation into a former Deerfield Beach swim instructor testified in court today. That instructor is accused of molesting young girls that he was giving lessons to. Let's go to Local 10's Derek Shore, who is in court today and joins us live from Fort Lauderdale with the latest. Well, it was yesterday we saw and heard the alleged victims in this case, as well as their parents. Today, we got a chance to hear from the investigators, defense attorneys calling into question their investigation. Based, uh, from my experience, my question is, can it be done? Can it be done? I could, I, 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 not to my experience as far as I know. Defense far. attorneys taking sheriff's investigators to task as the trial of swim teacher Francisco de Aragon continues. De Aragon is facing multiple felonies for allegedly molesting three of his swim students at the Deerfield Beach Aquatic Center back in 2015. His attorney calling into question the girls' stories and why deputies never suggested forensic examinations of the victims. She requested to get any sort of DNA examination on the girls to see whether or not there was any sort of finger scrapings or anything on the girls. No. But for the most part, the little girl's stories were the same in video statements recorded just after the allegations were made. When I went to the pool, um, I was trying to swim and I couldn't, and they touched my bracelets. The little girls identifying De Aragon in photo lineups. How did I make you feel? Sad? Saying he went under their bathing suits and used his hand to violate them. He was touching my bathing suit and then he went under his hand. And late this afternoon, kind of a bombshell, we are learning that De Aragon is planning on testifying. According to prosecutors, they were not expecting that, but he did tell the judge late this afternoon that he does plan on doing so. That will likely take place tomorrow. This alleged molestation happened in front of other people that maybe did not notice it and that is where the defense plans on trying to point their case trying to ask other teachers saying did you see anything and they plan on testifying they did not but it could have happened the prosecutors say under the water much more on this case as it develops for now we're live in fort lauderdale derek shore local 10 news